Let's revise our approach. Name or describe the instruments. Discuss its indications and contraindications. Discuss the complications of the use of the instruments. Describe scenarios or situations in which you've seen the instrument used. Summarise and add any additional information. This is an oropharyngeal airway adjunct. It is a single use device that comes in a sterile bag. If you don't know what it is, you can describe it. It is plastic. It is a tube that is curved with a flange at one end. Indications for its use include respiratory arrest and respiratory depression in a patient with reduced level of consciousness. Thus, you can insert this device through the mouth, around the tongue, and then manually ventilate the patient as appropriate. This helps maximise the oxygenation and gas exchange in the oropharyngeal airway. Contraindications for its use include patients who are alert, as a high level of consciousness means that the patient may spit the device out. Complications of its use are that it may break and it may cause oropharyngeal trauma. I've seen this device used in emergency settings, in the emergency room, in patients with reduced respiratory effort or respiratory arrest. I've also seen it used in a controlled environment in the anaesthetic room to help oxygenate patients when coming round from anaesthetic. So in summary, this is an oropharyngeal airway adjunct. It is sterile, a single use device, and it is used only in patients with respiratory arrest or reduced respiratory efforts and a lowered level of consciousness.